All right, so in this lecture, we're going to talk about pipes and redirects uh, in the Unix system. And this is really where the first uh, time we, we kind of start to do things that are interesting, such that uh, we can take some of these commands we've been uh, learning so far and, and put them together in a way that we can do something interesting or uh, something productive and, and even write kind of mini programs, if you will, uh, in the Unix command terminal. So we've already done a little bit of redirecting, although I didn't introduce it uh, formally. Um, so the redirect command, uh, which is this symbol here, which we, you've seen me use already in some of the other lectures, uh, you can think of it as an arrow. So in this case, uh, we're going to list the contents of uh, root dev and uh, redirect it into a file test.txt. Um, then we can also use this double redirect, which uh, actually appends the output of the, of the command, in this case, uh, ls root pros uh, into uh, test.txt. So the, the first, uh, a single arrow will actually overwrite or, or create a new file there. Uh, the, the double arrow will append it to the end. And so as an example of that, and show you how it might be useful, for instance, we could list the contents of user bin and redirect that into um, a file we'll call ls out. And then we can also uh, read list the contents of op rocks bin and we'll redirect that, actually we'll append that to the back of ls.out. So now we have a file, uh, ls.out, and we can look at it with, say, less ls.out. And here is the output of uh, those two things. We uh, concatenated them together, uh, and uh, maybe we want to use this to search for something, say, a uh, new plot. There's one. I guess that's the only only time it appeared. So that's uh, a way that we can use the redirect. We can also re redirect the input, and uh, you might notice that I'm, I use some terms here, and I think we've seen them before: standard in, standard out. Standard in is generally, uh, you know, what's input into the keyboard, and standard out is. Uh, what is output to the screen. There's also a standard error, which is also output to the screen. And the next slide will talk about those in a little more detail. Um, but we can uh, redirect an input uh, in into a program. And, and so I have a really kind of silly example here because you would never actually do this. But um, what we could do, since we don't really know how to edit a file with a proper editor yet, um, what we can do is we can echo the output of, um, say, print hello world, and we'll re redirect that into hello.py. So now we've created this file hello.py, and we can view it with head. Okay, so it's a little mini Python file that just prints hello world. And of course we can run Python, uh, we can call a, a file as an argument, so we can just say python hello.py. Um, but Python is an interactive, uh, in other words, we, we can open up Python and, and type print hello world, and we would get the same output. Um, so we can actually use this kind of redirect to the input. Uh, so we get the same output. So it, it, not that interesting a use uh, of, of redirecting the input, but uh, we don't know enough yet to, to come up with anything more clever. So we'll, we'll probably do something more interesting with uh, redirecting the input uh, later on in the course. So as I begin to talk about there, there are three standard I.O. file stream descriptors. 
Um, standard in is also the uh, no, known as the zero input descriptor, and and I I can also say that uh, or you know uh, another another thing about this is that the zero and the one are hardly ever used. So in other words, uh, even though standard out, which writes to the screen unless you redefine it. Um, we, we can actually access it with just redirecting it like this. So these two things are equivalent to one another. So therefore, it's hardly ever used, and that's why it's not that interesting. However, uh, standard error is, uh, its location is two, and th th in this case, we, we can use it to do interesting things or to help us out. For instance, if we, if we type this command, find uh, what, what this would do is find, uh, I know you don't, we haven't introduced find, but find, it's going to search the entire root directory structure for the name ls, and what you'll see when we do that is it's going to, you're going to get a lot of permissions and denied errors because you don't have the proper permission to look in a lot of these folders uh, that it's going to search, and so you get a tremendous amount of, uh, of kind of nonsense errors that you don't care about, and what we can do there by using the to redirect symbol, we can redirect that to nowhere, which is the device null, or it's kind of like the trash can. So let's go ahead and show an example of that. Um, if we if we go ahead and type what we have there, find, we're going to search the root directory for ls. If we run this, you'll see that we get a tremendous amount of permissions denied error. So I'm going to go ahead and close that or a control C to cancel it. And now we'll do it again, but we'll redirect all of the standard error, so all of the thing, the permission denied errors, the things that I don't care about, to nowhere. And then what will be printed out are only the locations that I actually do have access to LS. So you see the permissions denied errors are gone. Of course, we're searching the entire route directory data structure, so it's quite big, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop that. So pipes are kind of the beginning of little mini programs, if you will, and what we do with a pipe, as the name implies, is that we, we take the output of one command uh, and, we, and we pipe it into another command. Uh, so we can actually write little programs like this. And so instead of redirecting, uh, as we did earlier, say I, I want to redirect user, uh, you know, earlier we, we inspected user Ben uh, for GNU plot, and I redirected to a file and then opened the file with less, but I could actually just redirect it directly into less through a pipe. So it's going to take the output of ls user Ben and pipe it into less, and you can see I'm immediately in there, and then I can search for GNU plot, and there it is. Okay. And so finally, uh, T is is uh, similar to pipe, it, it, except it actually splits uh, the pipe such that you can uh, dump or redirect some of it to maybe a file, and then uh, continue on piping along. So this is useful if you kind of had intermediate steps um, that you wanted to do. So in this case, if we um, ls user sbin piped it into t, which will then send to a file, my file dot text, and then continue piping it into less. And so there it is. I don't think we'll. I don't know exactly what to look for in this file, but if we just go ahead and quit it, then we can also inspect my file text. So that's useful if you wanted to save that information and come back and view it later for some reason. So these are uh, pipes and redirects, and we'll be using those quite a bit.